This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Best part of the game is whenever Sachi starts singing. I had, I really like her singing voice. Unlike our group trip before summer break, today we caught a cross-town bus for a shaky ride to the sea. When we arrive, Sachi trots out onto the beach a few strides ahead of me. I'm glad we're back to the beach. Watching as she crouches down to play with the waves while softly singing her favorite song, I conclude that her good humor hasn't been dampened by the journey. Sounds like you're in a good mood, Sachi. <laughs> oh, if that's where the story's going, I'm I'm game. Sorry to disappoint, but that's not going to happen. Ever. Enough about the sharks. I'm not going to comment on your reasoning there, but if a shark shows up anywhere near the swimming area, they'd obviously keep everyone out of the water. That's really not something you should look disappointed about. But anyway, Saji clear is clearly much more fired up about this date than she was on the group trip. I can't exactly criticize her for being happy, even if her enthusiasm does tend to take a slightly bizarre form. Well, we're at the beach. So far, so good. What do you want to do first? Even so, it seems she doesn't have any specific requests for me. Okay, let me ask you something. That trip before the break wasn't your first time at the beach, was it? So what sort of things did you do back then? Hmm. Alright. Water fight sounds like a decent place to start. Sad to say, I'm pretty unfamiliar with this sort of thing. Since neither of us have any real <laughs> since neither of us have any proposals of our own, following your parents' example seems like a decent idea. You're always saying how much you love them, after all. So unless you have some objection to the plan, I guess we should get changed into our swimsuits. What do you say, Sachi? There she is! <laughs> the swimsuit edition. I settle down to wait after stripping to my swimming trucks, but it's not even ten minutes before Sachi returns from the changing room. That was a pretty fast change of clothes, by female standards. Okay, that's bad. That's bad, Sachi. Uh, I really think that warrants some heat pain. Hmm. Well, now I've completely lost the will to lecture her. I guess I'm a typical male in some respects. Yep. No need to worry about that. Novelty is always nice, but I don't want you splashing around in the water in maid clothes or anything. <laughs> I hope, is that a joke? <laughs> How did I know? Also, as a risk aversion measure, I'd like to avoid playing in densely occupied areas. That all right with you? Yeah, no different from scuba diving or whatever. The first priority is making sure your buddy's safe. <laughs> Come on, buddy! <laughs> I think you've misunderstood slightly, but whatever. Unless you have an objection, how about we get going? <laughs> Sachi's little flight of delusion comes to an abrupt halt as we make our way past the beach house. She freezes on the spot, staring fixedly at a nearby stall. Something wrong? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so they are. Okay, let's go. 
サメさんのフロートがレンタル中です<笑> Dude, you're not, you're not walking away without renting some of those shark floats. You can just say you want one. <laughs> Muttering in mild exasperation, I hand over a few bills to the white haired old man behind the counter. Uh, two shark floats coming up, young man. They're not for me. Of course not, wink. Did you just say wink? <laughs> <laughs> they, she, she isn't wearing the shark floaties right now. Zero out of ten. This strikes me as a slightly self serving account of events. <laughs> oh, she hasn't picked them out yet. Don't seem very interested in the Sachi Orca, though. I see. The girl seems to have a fairly unique method of classifying sea life. Whale sharks are pretty, boss. Sure about that? <laughs> Return from whence you came. Sounds like a plan. Just remember that we are only renting these shark floats. As we wade out from the shallows, Sachi slides herself on the top of a shark float and calls out in a happy tone of voice. So you are! Looks fun! No, I think you've just gotten yourself worked up to a fever pitch. I like her happy face, but this is too lewd to use as a thumbnail. I've been wondering this for a while now, but why do you love sharks so much? <laughs> Perhaps another time. Do me a favor and squeeze it down to three minutes. Aww. That's cute. You wanted two hours to explain that? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll take a pass on that. But rest assured, I'm now fully convinced that you're a shark fanatic without peer. Oh, okay, the shark floaty is like an inner tube and not like the little rings you put around your your hands, okay. Should you really be thanking me for that one? Well, we're fated to part with Mr. Shark here in only three short hours. Better enjoy it to the fullest while you can. <laughs> the face of determination. Very well, you'd better come at me with the determination of a marine storming Vietnam's fearsome iron triangle. Gotta love the, the stock sound effects. <laughs> well, you can't swim into the horizon. Her stamina completely exhausted, Saji trudges along at my side, moaning reproachfully. The limp, deflated shark float under her arm eloquently tells our the tale of our fierce and tragic battle. You lost because you stayed on that shark until the bitter end. It severely limited your mobility. Sachi and the shark floaty. That was adorable. Yeah, a simple application of the underground tunnel strategy, the VC adopted in reaction to the American reliance on Agent Orange and aerial bombing. Beep boop. Oh, that was a weird sound. Muttering to herself in a disappointed tone, Sachi drops limply to the sand and draws a few long, ragged breaths. After that lengthy struggle, I guess it's only natural that she'd be a little tired. That said, you've got nothing to be depressed about. You did pretty damn good to hang out with me for as long as you did. Feel like taking a short break? We can put playing with sand on hold for a while. What? Now she's a bloody boxer trying to convince the referee for another round? Don't take me out, coach! I can still race! 
So you say, but I just saw you more or less collapse into the ground. Hmm. Sure, fine, let's leave it at that. Alright, since you're that determined, let's move on to the sand castle. Did we apply a sunblock? We're gonna need it. Is that really going to be an issue? Sachi pushes herself off the sand, off the beach, and strides off to the new newfound determination. Mumbling a few dubious words to myself, I follow in her wake. Hey, same to you! Right. After changing back into our street clothes, we say goodbye and watch the children scamper up the orange-dyed beach. We didn't get to see the sandcastle scene? Was that lewd and cut, or was that just never in the game? To our side, the tower is a structure that's less a child sandcastle and more of a genuine castle of sand. Apparently Sachi missed her chance to build some castle or the other last time we were here, so the two of us began reconstructing it, but... Sachi's silent, diligent laborers, reminiscent of a well-trained recruit digging some massive ditch, quickly attracted a bustling crowd of curious children. In the end, we integrated them into a large-scale operation. You're popular with the kids everywhere you go, aren't you? I, I see that! But can they see why the kids love Cinnamon Toast Crunch? An aura of approachability, huh? Come to think of it, I felt something like that when I met her as a child. If we don't get at least a manga page of that sandcastle in this, I will be disappointed. Sachi gently runs a finger around one parapet of her masterpiece. Her expression is filled with the satisfaction of an artist who's fulfilled their goal, but also tinged with a definite hint of fatigue. Looks like you used a lot of energy, though. I'm sorry, is that Alechan or Aelchan? Like, don't worry, I got Aelchan, glug glug. Probably not, but I'm going to guess that Alechan was her whale shark. Not sure when it got a name, though. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's not, not Aelchan. <laughs> Yeah, what with the setting sun and all. Smiling fondly, Sachi stares off into the vividly colored horizon. Watching her face from the side is almost enough to make me forget about the burdens she's carrying. Hey, Sachi. Did you have fun today? Aww. That's really nice. You enjoyed it that much? Aww. This is sweet. But at the same time, why did we not get a picture of the sandcastle? They gave us a CG of her being... V doing something to us while babying us that was very lewd and inappropriate, but they couldn't put in a still image of a sandcastle. Her happiness is so obvious that I'm forced to give myself a mental pat on the back for inviting her. I see. That's definitely good to hear. <laughs> Hadn't quite expected this question. For a moment, I'm at a loss for a response. No, I did enjoy myself. Wasn't half bad messing around like a kid again. But why did you ask? Dane. She called us out. So that's how Sachi saw me as a kid. Maybe I did back then. But people do change. You used to be a tomboy who'd pull people around the playground, remember? No, that's not true. You really think so? 
As I suspected, Sachi is still plagued by regret. I'm more convinced than ever that she basically consciously blames herself for what happened. Her voice has grown thick with grief, as if she's barely suppressing the desire to shout out bitter apologies. Alright, guess that's enough reminiscing for one day. Let's get going before the buses stop running. But when I cut off the conversation, Sachi jerks her head up to stare into my eyes. Something wrong? Okay, then. Her reaction just now clearly suggested she had something to say, but I'm not going to drag it out of her. After a moment's pause, I begin to walk up the beach toward the nearby bus stop. Hmm? Ooh, CG. Ooh. This is a pretty CG. Also, holy cow, Yuji's like a head and a half taller than her. Dang. That, that's one of my favorite CGs from the game right here. That's beautiful. In that instant, I feel something pulling on me from behind. When I turn back, Sachi's reached out with one hand to grab my sleeve. Sachi? I call her name, but there's no immediate response. You have something you want to say? Hmm? She actually said it! In response to my decisive let's get going, she offers outright resistance. There's no real logic behind her objection. It's a selfish emotional demand, nothing more. To hear such words coming from Sachi's mouth is so surprising that I find myself entirely lost for an answer. She's growing! And even as the silence stretches on, her hand maintains its timid but steady grip on the sleeve of my shirt. Sachi. Her face is downcast, her eyes avoiding mine. I can't make out her expression, but I can tell that her cheeks have grown red. Normally speaking, this would be nothing but a cute moment of selfishness, the sort of thing girlfriends are generally entitled to. But in this case, it represents a serious violation of Sachi's internal rules. Very true. I understand what you're saying, so... Could you let me go for a second? My words finally snap Sachi out of this little reverie, and she jerks her hand back as if bitten by a snake. Sachi bows in flustered apology, her voice tinged with regret. Judging from her reaction, it's obvious that her behavior right now is a spur, pure spur-of-the-moment reflex. She clearly hadn't seen it coming any more than I had. Okay, I understand that it was a slip on your part, but I can't promise you I'll forget it. Tell me something. If you knew it was a bad thing to do, why'd you grab my clothes in the first place? Even so, there's no way you would have said anything like that before. So why now? Why do you start... Why do you think you said that, Sachi? So you haven't quite realized it yet, huh? Not consciously, at least. Okay, Sachi. I want to have a serious conversation. Yeah. If Sachi's ever going to regain what she needs to be whole again, this is where things have to start. This is my chance. Silently stealing myself, I stare directly into Sachi's eyes. Do you remember what I told you on the rooftop? Yeah, I told you I was going to help you be yourself, right? Sachi closes her eyes as if to recall the scene in question. In other words, Sachi, I was saying that right now, you're not yourself. That's right. Blaming yourself entirely for events from your past? 
focused on being a more perfect good girl than anyone else. Never asking for anything, keeping a tight lid on your own thoughts, obeying every order you receive like some kind of a robot. That's the person you are today. Of course. I know about the accident on your birthday, and I know you've lived alone since then. That said, I'm not going to tell you the path you chose was wrong. Why do you look so surprised? Well, from a normal perspective, maybe it would be, but unfortunately I'm pretty warped myself. I don't want to judge you. I just want you to realize something. Yeah. In other words, you have to find the answer on your own. Why did you make that selfish request just now? What do I... What do I want you to realize? And finally, how should you live from now on? This is a formal request, and I know full well that you can't turn it down. You're a good girl who does what she's told, right? In other words, you're not going to refuse. Wow. That said, I don't care how long it takes you to for, for you to figure it out. It shouldn't be an unreasonable demand, since there's no deadline. So? Do you accept? Accept Lucina's judgment? <laughs> Thanks. It's a familiar exchange. Since I entered the Kahama Academy, I've heard it dozens of times. Faced with a request for help, Sachi nods her head and answers with the words, Yes, certainly. The gears shift in her head, and a new task assumes top priority. Secure in the knowledge that my order has taken effect, I once more begin to walk up the beach. On the bus back to Mishima Cape, we sit side by side in silence, gazing out the windows the whole way. It's a slightly unfortunate way to finish the beach dates with Sachi that she had been so enthusiastic about, but in exchange, we've taken a crucial step forward. Hey, so Sachi, you know how we were supposed to buy sour gummy bears? This is why! We need something to eat on the bus ride home. For the first time, the pathological good girl was outright selfish. In return, I offered her three cryptic questions. And what's more, she learned that I'm familiar with her past. All of these events undoubtedly caught Sachi by surprise. Her head's likely packed full of questions, her mood unsettled and anxious. She's confronting a change in herself that she can't understand and struggling to decipher the meaning of the problem I've set for her. And in these matters, there's no mathematical formula to apply in order to get a correct solution, no simple cause and effect like pulling a trigger to kill a human being. For that very reason, Sachi has to find the answer herself. To realize what she's overlooking. That's her only chance to regain something like normality. Okay, well, that's all the Grisea I can take for one day. Man, that first hour was just painful to go through. I like that second part, though. I like the part with the date with Sachi. That was cute, and that actually, like, advanced the story. That was nice, but I'm gonna end the stream there. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, yeah, that was uncomfortable to go through. Very much so. I will be looking forward to streaming Backyard Baseball this week, starting on Monday. That's going to be a lot more fun, and hopefully a lot more enjoyable. <laughs> Alright, I bid you all adieu. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend, everybody, and God bless.